Welcome to Textile Art and Artifact Pathway. TAA is part of the Department of Applied Materials. In TAA, we work with a variety of soft materials and processes. And in TAA, we're very curious to explore, experiment and to make. And we often hoard and collect uh, fine materials and we reuse them and upcycle. TA offers well-lit studios and workspace and the, the learning skills, working with a variety of the processes from hand uh, embroidery, machine embroidery. We work with sewing, hand and machine again, knitted constructions, hand and machine, and 3D forms um, of all, with all of these processes and, and an interest in surface creation. We're interested in marrying the traditional techniques with those of digital processes, such as the multi-head embroidery machine. We have digital print, sort of small scale runs and heat press. We focus on drawing and mark making and paper manipulation. And we, are, we spend a lot of time working on personalizing notebooks and they reflect very much the individual student and their interests and what their skills are. And we spend a lot of time sampling. We are trying out different materials, techniques, and different looks that these samples can have. And students find a variety of ways of, of working this, how to record through notebooks. Some work very well with creating their own blogs or learning skills you know, from the internet, but it's about sort of finding the best ways of learning these techniques and then recording them to suit your own interests. And often there's that interest in the traditional materials and techniques um, contemporized. So if we take stitches that have been around for a long time, but we're reusing them in contemporary products, or we're looking at something like lace and um, uh, the knowledge and the, the technique involved with lace, but we're contemporizing that. Or here's another example of taking smocking that you would have sort of seen in small scale interior cushions often or in garments. And here it's actually transformed into sort of gallery, a uh, big scale piece of work. And knitted constructions where um, students sort of develop that interest or link with fashion outcomes but this student actually was able to use her interest with knitting, looking at a commission for Kerry Gold, and then even the electric picnic. So being able to take something and show that it can be used in very different contexts. And here's another example of, of knit, where the student was sort of working again with the idea of festivals, uh, body performance, uh, performance with these sort of pieces that she made. That marrying of the low tech combined with digital processes. So there's handwork as well as the multi head um, embroidery machine. Again, the other examples where uh, printing, digital print, a lot of its students are interested in image based work through print and then working with hand embroidery and digital embroidery over the top. Paper manipulation, there's a really close relationship between paper and fabrics. And a lot of students specialize in working with paper um, through, in this case, it was through animation, performative pieces, all hand cut. She didn't use laser, it was all hand cut. And some of the pieces that this student did were actually very large scale. There's also that interest of, of recycling, of collecting the things, of hoarding, and um, trying to find a new life uh, for plastics. So plastics are those sort of things that are, you know, landfill, and we try to create new products. And, and Maeve's work was through lighting, or that idea of these shoe forms are made from sellotape. Um, our Martina had used the corrugated plastic uh, uh, sort of posters that she would have found, you know, around and, and often worked very big scale to cover you know, restaurants or public spaces. The found object, you know, I know we can't sort of do it at the minute through COVID, but there is that idea of scavenging and collecting and hoarding. 
and actually students are always sort of seeing what can be uh, used and, and then coming back to it sometime later going, oh, I've got the perfect material that I've found and, and held on to for years. And then a, a very strong part of TA's interest is looking at health and well-being. So such things as Alzheimer's disease, um, working through um, uh, trying to give an art experience for those who are visually impaired and textiles really sort of plays into that sensory experience. Or looking at Parkinson's disease, and this was an interactive piece. So it was about awareness to something like Parkinson's disease, but there was interactive things where you were able to come and touch these sort of little teddies. ME, and again, sort of work through performance, awareness and educational issues to make us aware of what ME is about as an illness. Narrative social history and costume, uh, students are very interested in that in TAA. And that idea of costume for theatre and film, there's always that sort of interest, or again, of making the piece that is needed for performance work. And then there's a lot of students who are interested in the idea of styling, branding and promotion. These are the things that we often relate to sort of graphics or visual communications, but actually TA um, uh, interest really overlap with a lot of um, areas of uh, 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 design. There's sort of some more links to fashion and that sort of collaborative teamwork building. And in this student's case, you know, beautiful craftsmanship and making. So a textile art and artifact student has an affinity with the materials and processes. They have a want to make things. They have an interest in drawing, mark making and color, interest in material manipulation and a curiosity to sample and experiment. And we look for those students that are really dedicated and are very driven and interested. So there's no limitations. We don't think there's anything that can stop you producing whatever you want to make. And we like that sort of approach of blue sky thinking, thinking outside the box. And I think about considering TA as a very diverse and varied um, field to work in. And I would uh, welcome and encourage anybody to email me if there's any questions or queries and hope to see you in the future. Thank you.